Howdy folks. Today I want to show you my custom holster design for the Leatherman Garage Number no. 5, otherwise known as a 40th anniversary tool. Uh, you can see by the uh, scratches on my tool, I have actually do use my tool. I've modified it. I have another video showing about that. So this really isn't going to be the video about the Garage Number no. 5. I have other videos showing that. Uh, what it is going to do is talk about the design and features of this holster. This holster is 3D printed from solid nylon 12. This is not FDM uh, 3D printing like you see with an at-home 3D printer. These are solid plastic components with really high strength and are very solid. Now the gray material you're seeing here is my prototype. Uh, the holster will come in black, red, green, orange, blue, and also a white and the white is intended for people who want to custom paint or custom dye the color uh, now the beautiful garage number no. five with the white finish here uh, will be close into the white nylon but just that that white nylon will collect dirt so you can paint it with a gloss white if you want that white on white finish in either case this holster design is very similar to my free p4 holster this holster I've worn for years now, so you can see how the black material is and how it holds up over time. And then uh, there's a couple of key differences I've done with compared to the free P4 holster. So first of all, how this holster works, this little grips right here interact with the spring-loaded tabs so that when you close this, you get that beautiful, nice click in there. When you pull it out, you can pull it out with one finger and have the tool ready to go in your hand. So when you pull it out, it comes out to about here and it has a nice little kind of detent so that it doesn't come flying away from you. And then it's ready to use. Uh, now compared to the free P4 holster, this is not a symmetrical design due to the way the bl blade protrudes. So it does only go in one way, but it's very easy to find that thumb tab and just dock this like that. Now we we'll talk about the accessories that come with this, or not come with this, sorry, the accessories it can hold. Uh, none of these accessories are included. What you're getting is a single plastic holster customized with the options that you've chosen. In either case, one of the options is holder for the Leatherman ratchet driver. This snaps into place, it's held in very securely, and to unlock it, all you do is pull like that. Real easy. And there's a small detent in here. If that detent ever wears out on you, there's actually a, ba a backup if you want to put in a small magnet. Basically a 1 8 inch by 1 quarter inch long magnet will fit in there. And that would allow it, this to dock in harder uh, if you ever needed to. Uh, however, for my, I've used these products for years. This one I've used for years. And you can see here that uh, the bit extender driver snaps in real nice. Still comes out. There's no issues with the amount of uh, wear that happens with that uh, little detent. Um, I do offer version for the ratchet driver or the bit extender if that's what you want. The bit extender is a little more slim against the side. It'll have a smaller grip than this one here, but works otherwise the same way. Oops, stop running away. Go dock that guy. Now, the 711L holder on the side here, it works in a similar way with a couple of little interference fits inside this channel along with this little dot and a little bump out here. Uh, I pre almost prototyped this probably about three or four times to get that nice perfect little snap where you don't have to worry about this coming loose um, or falling out all by itself. Uh, if you're wondering what this guy is, that's the uh, Volte bit, uh, just a little fun little uh, accessory you can add. And then on this side, you can have two bits plus the 711L, or if you take out the 711L, you can have another two bits on this side. On the back side of the holster, you have up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits, depending on what belt option you choose. This is the BDU loop belt option, which fits basically standard uh, size belts, leather belts that you would have on a pair of blue jeans. I also offer this with a duty uh, holder, which is a little bit bigger with less bits, allows you to do police duty belts, extra thick belts. 
The, um, there's also a version of this that is compatible with tech lock and metal clips that you can add your own basically belt clip to them along with an open clip option, open plastic clip option so that you don't have to take your belt off. I consider that for light duty use. However, I have beefed that up compared to what was on the previous versions. And then finally, a, whole, a horizontal carry option with a loop going around this way. Now, I don't offer the horizontal with the open loop anymore. Uh, it's just going to be a closed loop. And then that allows you to have the ratchet driver, the bit extender. Um, now, if you don't want this bulk, if you want something slimmer, I do offer a version of these that I call the slim version, which does not have the features on the sides so that you get a much slicker kind of package and if you're wanting to say upgrade from the Leatherman holster without getting too much bulk you can do that. But here you can see that compared to the nylon holster this is what's probably going to come with the Leatherman Arc that my overall thickness is just a little bit thicker and then my overall depth is once you load the tool in just about the same. And then compared to the nylon holsters that have all the different accessory add-ons, this is much, much smaller and slimmer. I want to talk about a little bit of the design features in here. There's lots of different geometry inside here that you're not going to find on competitor products. What that does is allows this to absolutely lock in. It is held in very securely, with, but still leaves the face exposed, so it kind of looks real nice on your belt. Um, that exposed face can allow you to get scratches on there. I use my tools. I'm not too worried about scratches. Uh, I did get that little scrape there when I uh, moved up against something uh, where compared to say the free P4 uh, which I've had on here for years I haven't really had any scrapes because well it's stainless steel. I'm not too worried about it. I use my tools so uh, just be aware that that is exposed and uh, this is more for somebody who really is going to be using their tool. These will last for thousands and thousands of cycles because there's not a plastic piece or a metal spring uh, that is going to wear out. It's the actual springs in here. Uh, these are basically two metal springs compared to some of the older holsters on the market that uh, require you actually to rub friction all the way against your tool and, and probably will scratch it. Um, compared to the Leatherman holster, you do have to remove the belt clip. And, but with this holster on your belt right now, you can see there's a couple issues. The uh, tool sits almost an inch above the belt loop, so this can push into your side. The other issues um, is that you gotta basically open it to get your tool out. Now you gotta leave this open and you gotta open it again to dock it. With this, this is hanging on your belt, you just simply push it in to dock it, and it hangs at your belt level. So this is not protruding into your side if you're getting a car, things like that. Now the spine, basically spine bit holders on the back. Uh, I have tweaked these so they're a little easier to use now. So you can just push them out with your fingers. On um, the previous versions required quite a bit of work to get them to do that. Uh, adding these little cuts down the sides allows that to kind of loosen up. The little guys are a little bit harder sometimes to undock. So if you want, what I do is, if I dock them correctly, is just basically use the end of the ratchet driver to push out the next bit if you have any issues with that. Um, I should also mention the ratchet driver, the very first time you use it will be a little bit tight down here. You cycle that about five or six times and it'll work just like this. And then I think the only other thing to mention is the uh, features on the back here that I have a, depending on, on the BDU and duty loops, uh, you've got the option uh, to have this connect to uh, molly webbing and then also you could use this to hang say your multi-tool on a nail so that'd be great if you're I keep trying to dock this backwards uh, that'd be great if you're trying to uh, hang this on the wall in a workshop um, or if you just want to dock this when you get home so I think that's all the different features I got on here there's quite a bit of work and design in this. I prototype my parts physically over and over until everything fits just right to get that exact uh, right feel. And then the website will have every single color and every single variant rendered in detail so you can take a look and make sure that you got the combination that you want. And then the only other thing maybe worth mentioning, 
and this will be a separate video that I'll upload, is my little barnacle design. Um, this is going to be a separate accessory product. Um, I don't really, there's no really economics to try to include this with the, with the holster, uh, so it's just listed as a separate product. What this does is snaps on to the scales of the free, or I'm sorry, of the Garage 5, and you can kind of keep your favorite bit there. I will say, uh, well, I'll do a separate video on that, and, and you can check that out. So that's the holster. It's available on my shop now, zapwizard.com. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching.